Welcome to the Marketing Boost Solutions Podcast. Join host Marco Torres, co-founder of MarketingBoost.com, along with expert guests as they deliver incredible proven solutions to your marketing challenges in each power-packed episode. Captain Marco has guided thousands of entrepreneurs, growing their sales and marketing through the use of value-add incentives. His Facebook groups are home to more than 84,000 entrepreneurs who are raking in sales with his advice. Get ready to be blown away with game-changing lessons for your business. Welcome to the Marketing Boost Solutions Podcast, ladies and gentlemen, where we bring you experts in business success stories and talk about ideas to help you have the right millionaire mindset you need uh, to build and grow your business we help you know the idea here is just to bring you experts that can motivate you guide you give you business tips etc today i'm excited to bring an incredible guest to our show dr sheree moore she's an uh, entrepreneurial mogul she is a phd and mh a c d v c and a whole list of additional uh, uh <laughs> categories there a diplomat of assessments and evaluations she's a multimedia conglomerate of a television network and radio network and magazines Dr. Moore has taught over 5,000 seminars and has authored over 125 books on various subjects, including a children's series of leadership books. She's an international motivational speaker, business strategist, business coach with a proven track record. So folks, pay, pay attention, get your pen and pencil out, and uh, let's hear from Dr. Sherry Moore. Hi, Marco. <laughs> Thank you so much for for that huge intro. (laughs) Are you kidding? I'm impressed with all of your history and background and the, uh, what I know of you in the last conversation we had, I was just so impressed. It was like, I've got to get you on our show and let people hear from your, uh, true wisdom and background. Um, one of the things that I recall in our previous conversation, I thought we might want to chat on is the one of the first things that I believe you uh, teach on and focus on, which is your relationship with your spouse and how that is like the foundation to everything. And uh, your story on that was just heartbreaking, you know, not heartbreaking, but heartwarming, if you would. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, your story there? Sure. My husband and I are currently married for 41 years. We met when we were about four years old. Um, His mom and dad knew my mom and dad. We went to outings, Bear Mountain, picnics together. So we had a wonderful relationship as children. And he was the first person I trusted. We we went to Bear Mountain. He... uh, told me to put my hand in the water. And I said I was scared because I didn't want to get a fish to bite it off. And he held my hand over, his hand was over my hand. And then he dipped his hand, our hands into the water. And he said, see, nothing's going to happen to you while you're with me. (laughs) I, I, I kept that. He proposed when he was nine years old with a Cracker Jack ring, and I still have it, and it's uh, a lot smaller than the one that I have now, (laughs) (laughs) but uh, we have loved each other since we first met. Um, We wrote a book about dating and relationships. It's called Dating Games, Rules, and relationships of uh, and uh it's it's written it's out there it's the very first ebook that i wrote um you can download the first chapter so you can see if you want to continue but um it it tells you about how you need to be honest and open in relationships and don't be afraid of telling the truth People need to know what you're thinking, how you're thinking. And if you're not doing that, 
why bother? <laughs> You're just messing that. it up for somebody else. <laughs> One of your programs, if I recall, is coaching couples prior to marriage or a course that you have on that. Is that correct? Yes, uh, we do a 13 week marriage premarital counseling. So we get you ready for the hard questions of life because I don't hold back. Now, my husband's a pastor preacher and he will come from the uh christian bible point of view but i kick the actual factuals and i make sure that you understand from a psychological perspective as well from real life this is what you're you should be expecting and it's all about truth love forgiveness, in-laws, um, friends that are not married, friends that are married, how you should date each other even beyond the um, first introduction of, yes, we're married or yes, we're engaged. It doesn't end there. You have to work at keeping a marriage together. And that's something I think that most people don't understand. Mm -hmm. No, true. And then in today's world, so many people are looking for that instant gratification, so to speak. That, yeah. And everybody is kind of a narcissist, it seems to me, <laughs> uh, where at least my, you know, my reaction to this is everyone is, well, what's in it for me? And as soon as it's not working for me, they're looking to, you know, blame the other person and yeah. maybe even one out of the relationship. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a, in my opinion, it's kind of a, it's got to be a two-way street. You've got to be trying to serve and and support and uh, uh, you know please your partner. And if you're giving, if you're trying to do everything you can to please that person, they're going to do the same for you. It's going to be mutual, or it should be mutual, and that's that's when it works. If when it's not mutual, it's it's going to be trouble. <laughs> yeah, people aren't into giving. And if you find that you're not with a giver, you don't need to be with that person. If you're giving and they're always taking and they never give, that's one red flag. Yeah, it's a huge and red flag. Yeah, so. Yep, and you know, in business it's similar. You've got to, um, you know, when you have the right relationship at home and you build that first, that's kind of like your first business partnership is picking the right, the right spouse. And, uh, and then that's going to, you know, lead you in, in the business world. You know, similarly, you want to hire the right people. You want to have the right, you know, pick the right business partners. Yes. And you want to, and that's similar to a marriage, especially if they're business partners where you're trying to make sure that you're giving as much as you're receiving from the community, from the team, from and uh, uh, not just the taker. So if you're giving as much as you're taking, you know, as you're putting in and your partner, you don't give your partners reasons to feel like they're the ones holding up the, you know, the, uh, the operation and so forth. So true. It, yep. So let's talk about uh, some of your, your, you own over 25 businesses and such a career of, 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 of entrepreneurship. Uh, tell us what you're working on now and and what, um, you know, how have you done all of that? How have you managed to be involved in so many different businesses and uh, keep your head on straight? <laughs> <laughs> I wear different hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, uh, I am a true Gemini with an entrepreneurial spirit. I, I coined the phrase, I am an entrepreneurial mogul because all that I do involves the very, I guess, deep understanding of how business is. I had my first business when I was seven. I would invite people over. Um, my Mom provided the snacks and the tea and everything. So either you come to my tea party and you need to bring a Barbie doll or else you don't get in. <laughs> <laughs> so the price of admission was a Barbie doll. 
Um, and I held fast to that. If you can't give me a brand new Barbie doll at the door, I'm sorry you can't join the tea party. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so you had and, a price of admission to join your... Yes. Uh, that was the beginning of your therapy clubs there? <laughs> <laughs> um, the price of admission for those are a little bit more steep. <laughs> right, right, right. Unless you have a rare Barbie doll, I still will take those. <laughs> awesome. But um, I understand that in business there needs to be maybe a, an understanding of really what you want in your business. All businesses are not alike. All people that you speak with are not alike. They're looking for something and you're looking for someone to hire or, or to give your services to. And there needs to be a mutual understanding and so many hobbies that people have, they are legitimate businesses, but they don't use a business model to make them work. And I did. Um, I like uh, monopoly <laughs> and gathering all the pieces of real estate. So I was involved in real estate for a couple of years, um, buy and sell, buy and hold, and I just negotiated contracts with uh, many people that were going through foreclosures. And I didn't have to come out my pocket to provide them with uh, the possibility of getting paid. Um, it was pretty easy finding people that want to sell and people that want to buy and matching those up. I also put together a hair care product. It grows hair. So for people who are thinning or balding, it actually grows. I was, uh, I had breast cancer. I need some and, of that. So we'll have to talk afterwards on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had, can I lost all my hair everywhere. And I was shocked. Because yes, you but, told me, I'm sorry, I cut you off there. You you had breast cancer, did you say? Yes, I was terminal. Stage oh. four breast, stage zero lung. So it was on the pleura, the lung wall, but not penetrating. Mm. And so, how long was that? Uh, 2005. Wow. So I'm obviously, still here. Obviously, you beat that pretty darn well. For the we'll time see. Day. I didn't beat anything. I just laid there. I think God did the rest. I know he did. Um, my doctors had pretty much said, well, we'll keep you so that you can uh, not be in so much pain because they were going to take a chunk of my lung and break my sternum. I, I haven't even cut my first album yet. So <laughs> no, you can't do that. <laughs> I need I need my lungs to to speak. And right. no, that was not going to work for me. So the Holy Spirit ate my cancer. I had wonderful doctors, but I owe it to the Holy Spirit. I do. Wow. Because chemo yeah. is poison and it's awful. You were able to skip that? No. Oh, okay. I had chemo. I was supposed to have 18 rounds and I only had three because I prayed by the third cancer treatment. Like the woman that had the issue of blood, when I touched his garment in my mind, I, I want, I desperately needed to be healed. And, and because of my faith, I believe, the Holy Spirit ate the cancer. I would pray Psalm 119 every night. And wherever it said enemy, I put in the word cancer. I believed it. I lived it. And I lived through it. Wow. So I, I know that he still provides miracles. Right. That message is powerful between your faith and uh, uh, the healing power of 
you know, your prayer and of course your mindset is very powerful. So then you lost all your, your hair and that's what inspired you to create that hair product? Yes. Uh, I and never lost all. I, I had peach fuzz and the doctors wondered how come I still had hair follicles on my scalp. Um, I told them I was using something I put together and it's oil based. And all I did was rub it on my bald head <laughs> and rub it on my face. So my eyebrows, they grew back. My eyelashes, I didn't put the oil near my eyelashes. And that's the only part that has not grown back yet fully. Wow. How about that? And, and you've seen, and you've seen uh, well, that's been the same results for clients and stuff that use that as well? Yes. Wow. Wow. So is that, do you still offer that? Is that a product you still have on the market? Yes, it is. And what do you call that? Hair by God. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have a theme going here. I can see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the product is called Grow Me, and it's a hair by God product. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, and I'm 62, so the skincare regimen that I use is Nourish Me by God. Mm -hmm. And I make all of these things since I'm a master herbalist. <laughs> right, right. And yeah, one of the things I saw you do also is the, uh, uh, what's it called, Reiki? Um, yes i'm a reiki uh instructor and i'm level three wow and so that is um i don't know much about that but share with about that if you'd like is one of the businesses that you operate with what, what do you offer there training courses and what have you to training co courses on uh healing methods to heal everyone can't do reiki uh so there are other ways to allow your healing hands to work. Um, there's a lot of prayer involved and there's a lot of not touching. It's uh, chakra work. Um, it's sound work. It's, it's just a, a total mindset of healing and comfort and security and knowing that you're grounded in your beliefs. So um, I don't really do that much Reiki since um, uh, COVID, but I do still do uh, hair samples. I take the hair sample and make stuff so that your body can be completed by the stuff that your body needs instead of what you think your body wants hmm. and wow. even that uh I, I don't get sick a whole lot I don't feel good for a lot of different reasons but sickness it hasn't been one of them um I got uh, a really bad case of pneumonia right before COVID and I had double pneumonia I'm, I missed out on taking my herbs. My house had mold. So we moved out. It was a whole thing. So um, I had mold. I had that congestion in my lungs for five months. Mm. I was so afraid. And then to come to find out it was a heart issue, not so much my lungs. So I, I, had to maneuver through that. And now I'm good. <laughs> you just you just one survivor after the one thing over the next. That's powerful. You know, I I, I think that he he designed it that way. Yeah. It gives you the not, nothing you can't overcome. True. So that's powerful. So um when it comes to your your business coaching and um you know, on, on the Marketing Boost Solutions podcast, our listeners out there, we have a, uh, 
uh, a lot of uh, startup companies, uh, solopreneurs that are on, you know, getting started or, or multi-level marketers. And we have big companies as well that are listening and using our services of Marketing Boost and uh, who, by the way, sponsor the show. So while I say that, let's take a second to hear from our sponsors, marketingboost.com right now, and we'll be right back. Hold that thought. It's time to wow, surprise, and impress your clients with the most powerful customer draw card available anywhere. The Marketing Boost Solution Show is brought to you by Marketing Boost, where you can get valuable travel and restaurant incentives to drive your leads from prospects to paying customers. Now you can offer complimentary hotel stays in over 130 destinations worldwide. Go to marketingboostsolutions.com and try it for free right now. Welcome back to the Marketing Boost Solutions podcast show. We are here with Dr. Moore as she tells us all about her, some of her life experiences and her business background. Uh, if you missed the introduction earlier, it's you know amazing her her uh, entire background here. So back to uh, Dr. Sherry Cherie Moore. Tell us more about uh, how you guide business owners. Uh, that hire you as a business coach, you know, what are some of the things you would tell starting up entrepreneurs, um, business uh, tips that they should follow? Well, um, you know, it's no secret that we are no longer pining for the digital transformation to become a part of our lives. It's here. And if you don't have that in your business, it's going to make you not be in business. So, you know, in essence, if you focus on all that you can do, especially with Marketing Boost, it's, it's an amazing product. And yeah, people are wanting to go out more. They're wanting to travel. And that can be used as your caveat or your lead funnel, if you will, so that you can focus on getting and making sure that your business includes and embraces the six pillars of digital transformation. And, and those are experiences. You have to understand what your client has done in the past, and what your client wants to do. Then people, every person is not right for every single company. Um, your change ratio, your innovation ratio, your leadership, and your culture. And, you know, every time it's a new year. It's a new way of looking at life. I don't know what all of you guys are doing, but digital marketing is here to stay. Um, and you need to understand how to use your funnels so that you can make money in those funnels, blogging and health and fitness, uh, personal finances and investing recipes and food and personal development and self-care those no, no, are no. your i guess hot niches for this particular year and if your company is afraid to you know complete that tech enabled change you are going to be left behind absolutely what people, do you define people as, love a, it, as, a, you know. as a funnel? What do you define as a funnel? I hear, you know, a lot of people new to the digital world um, or they've been consumers, you know, online themselves and they have a business idea and they're, they obviously, most people probably realize they need to be on the internet somehow and are just trying to figure that out. But they hear funnels and don't um, don't really know what that means. How would you define it? Oh, it's like an inverted cone. So it looks like this. There's a lot of people doing a lot of things on this level. 
And then when they get in, you have to have something broad enough to entice them in. And Marketing Boost is perfect. Everybody likes to eat. Everybody likes entertainment. Everybody likes to enjoy themselves away from their own home. And everybody loves vacation. How many people take vacations every year? Not many. Right. Now you, you can focus on that and get them in your funnel and then talk about, hey, wouldn't you like to relax? You know, people who have businesses sometimes hate to turn the key in the door that opens up their business because their business is running them. I don't do that. My business does not run me. I run my business. I decide when I'm going to work, where I'm going to work, and with whom I'm going to work. And I'm pretty picky. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to work with everybody because some people know it all and I can't help them. Right. <laughs> How true is that? <laughs> That is one of the benefits of being in a business for yourself, right? Sometimes you can choose, you can fire a client if need be when they just don't fit the mold, you know, and you're, they're trying to, and it never fails when you end when you discount people and offer them huge discounts and what have you, they end up being the hardest ones to work That's with. That's so, right. So yeah. don't change your price model just because you're trying to get a client. First off, you seem desperate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. No offense. But if you're in business for yourself, you should never be desperate. Right. Really, come and talk to me. I'm a psychologist. <laughs> DrSheremore.com. We can fix you up. <laughs> right. But, you um, get, get the mindset right. And it really does start. Yes, there. Got to it really in, helps. And you have to believe in your own value. Of yes. What your, what your product or service is, what you bring to the table and uh, and create a a offer that is so good that uh, you know people are uh, that's part of the key as well in that funnel the way i describe a sales funnel it's it's a it's a it's, a, it's your sales process which mm -hmm. obviously includes the internet today and how you bring them from from wherever you're prospecting whether it be facebook groups or facebook ads youtube ads Etc., and you're driving people to your web page, which we call a funnel because it's typically, and at least in my world, we build funnels for our clients. By the way, it's available to all the Marketing Boost members. If you're an annual member of Marketing Boost, you do get a free, uh, you need to jump on a call with us because we show you how to get a free version of Automation Booster. It's the funnel builder, so you get a lifetime of license to that for free. And then you can uh, access templates that we have that are designed as as part of these funnels that we're talking about, they come into your funnel and then you, you know, you start bringing them down, reading through what you mm -hmm. offer, how you offer it all with design with one call to action at the end versus a website that might have. So the difference between a website and a funnel in my mind is the website is full of navigation links, you know, about us, uh, you know, click here for this line of products, this other line of products or whatever it might be. And a funnel is going to drive you to take action on one call to action, whether it be book an appointment, buy your product, et cetera. And then once they buy it, maybe it's buy your first product, what we call a tripwire, maybe your low cost product. Then the second page might take them to, you know, then add on the upsell and how you're going to offer, you know, if you take, if you bought, since you bought product A, if you buy product B to go with it, it's the perfect match. And now you're getting people to buy a second product or book an appointment so you can get them on a phone and, and offer more of your products and services. So that's what a funnel is in my mind. Again, it's driving them through and helping build a web page with the uh, design to drive them through to the process of buying at the end or taking a call to action. And then the marketing boost incentives that we uh, show you ideas on how you can how you can integrate those into those calls to action to help people take more, more, uh, to get more conversions on whatever it is, your product or services. So sorry to jump in on all of that description there. Back to you, uh, uh, Shereen, <laughs> tell us, tell us more. Hey, about you are doing a fantastic job. <laughs> <laughs> tell us more, Shereen, on how you, uh, what other business strategies you use that others could learn from? 
Well, first you have to have a plan. A lot of people go through life without a plan at all. I don't know how. <laughs> you need a plan. And the, pr the plan itself should be branded content. And then that means all of this stuff is going into your top rung in your funnel. And there must be a plan. And then next down is your reach. Who are you going to reach and how are you going to reach them? So you have your search engines, your social networks, published pages or published articles and, and blogs. I've been a writer for years and that's what you have to do. You have to either hire a writer or do it yourself or get chat GPT. Right. <laughs> I teach a master it. class on that. Mm -hmm. So you have to do things so that you get the reach that you want. And that narrows the field quite a bit. If my product is $5,000, I'm not going to pick up the people who want stuff for free. They're in my funnel because I'm giving away something. But the next step, they need to start paying for my services, whether that's $97 or $5,000. It just depends. And then you have to have action. So your website or your blog, your community needs to have interactive tools. They need to call you or schedule time with you or click a button or do something. If there's no interaction, you just have people just willy-nilly hanging around doing absolutely nothing. And then after action, there needs to be a call to convert. So your e-commerce, your product, your price, and your promotion. This is where we help quite a bit. We help position you so that your funnel, if you will, converts. Every funnel is in for every person. If I'm a health instructor, I need my funnel to first maybe give something and then I'm giving value. And as I'm giving value, I'm receiving feedback. So if I give you value, I want to hear back from you. And a lot of people don't see how that connects. They just give stuff away and put you on their list without any care of really, was that something that you needed? And then the last thing you do is engage. Customer advocacy. Uh, you have to make sure that your customers are happy because a happy customer is like a happy life and a happy wife. <laughs> yeah. They will talk about you till the cows come home, even if you don't have cows. <laughs> I love my husband and I am his gatekeeper. So I am the wife. My husband is there. In order to get to him, you have to come through me. If he, if he finds out that you have circumvented me, he sends me the information so I can call you and reach out. Nobody gets to my man except through me. And it's just like a business. If you want to be a part of my business in terms of me helping you, you have to come to me to ask for that help. I'm not going to throw darts and hope that some, something sticks. Mm -hmm. Money is too valuable in today's market for that to happen. It needs to be a plan so you can reach the people 
then they can take an action and then they can convert. And when you do that, you're constantly promoting. Now you've been doing that essentially as part of your career all of your life because you were for you know with the writing of the books with the writing of your blogs with the with the uh, on stage uh, appearances you've done this the conferences that you've been a speaker at uh etc so i mean and and most of us aren't um phds and what have you to be invited do you have any suggestions on how people can can get the word out about themselves and their, you know, product or service. Um, are there ideas on getting, you know, well, you've mentioned the blogs and what have you, but what other ideas might you share with on how to get your story out there? Well, I, I feel have the perfect, perfect way for you guys to go about doing that. Go to my website, um, more multi media dot live and you can see the different ways that we can help um, we can write a book for you and you can co-author it we make you the scene expert in whatever it is that you're wanting to write about i've written on 180 different topics there's something i know that can connect with what you're doing so that we can write it for you as your ghostwriter, but we're gonna co-author. If you notice, if you put my name, Dr. Cherie, C-H-E-R-I, more, no extension, no nothing, I can be searched through Google because Google loves me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been out there for a while. So whatever I put my name to, people can Google just my name and so many things will pop up. I want to do that for you. Whoever you are that is listening to this broadcast, there is no reason why you have to be, someone told me the quote unquote best kept secret. That hurt my feelings at one point, <laughs> because if you're, you know, as a forensic psychologist, if you're not a criminal, you don't know me. But on the other hand, if you need a speaker and an author and whatever, you do know me, but not as a therapist. So people would say, oh, you wear different hats. I'm like, no, I wear different hair but I am an entrepreneurial mogul. I will share with you how to get your plan tight so that you know what your purpose and your positioning should be. Three, I get you to make sure that all your social media networks are ready. And four, to convert into real buyers. You need to, they need to love, trust, and appreciate you. They have to, so that you can gain their business. Hmm, very powerful. So go with those all will all be in the notes uh, below here on the show. If you're watching this on YouTube or on the podcast, please check the notes for the links to, uh, Dr. Cherie Moore and all of her different her website and her will list a number of things there where you can you can take action, take a look at her funnel and uh, hire her to help you hit set your your business on a path of success. Um, it's been uh, wonderful. Let's take a moment real quick before we wrap it up and hear from our sponsor, Automation Booster, and we'll be right back. Is your business on autopilot yet? Do you have automation in place to capture, nurture, and convert prospects into clients via email, SMS, ringless voicemails, appointment setting? Get all the inbound and outbound marketing tools in one place. Go to marketingboostsolutions.com for more on automating your business so you can make money while you sleep. Welcome back to the Marketing Boost Solutions show. We're here wrapping up with Dr. Cherie Moore, a forensic psychologist, 
entrepreneur mogul who uh, operates over 25 businesses as well as a TV network and a whole lot more. It's been an incredible conversation hearing some of her life story and her wisdom on how to how to properly set yourself up, uh, you know, with your social media uh, and your, you know, so that you can be found and you can be, you know, get your word out there about your product or service. Uh, Cherie, um, if that's okay to call you by your first name, yeah, uh, tell us, uh, tell us more again. You know, give us some more of that wisdom here as we wrap up on. Um, well, one, we know how to find you. We'll find your website. It'll be posted in the links below. But um, what would be some of the main? If, if I was an entrepreneur getting started or already having some, who do you work best with? Somebody who's getting started, or they're already up and going with. Uh, uh, some successes, and if that's the case, what where would you like them to be? Already doing over, a, you know, two hundred fifty thousand a year, or already doing up close to a million? What is your, uh, who is the client you work best with? Well, actually, I work best with all people. I want to see people succeed. Um, for me, it's not so much about the money; it's more about the relationship. I want to help as many people as I can, because in today's society, working for someone to me does not make sense unless it makes a whole bunch of dollars. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're working for yourself, you have more access to different types of opportunities and I can help you with those. Meanwhile, if you're a CEO or C-level person, I have uh, a very unique opportunity for C-level people. I'm a chair, so I can make sure and make certain that you're going to get a top-notch pattern to either shake up what you're currently doing or um, I put you with like-minded people so that we can be guided together. There's lots of different ways in which to do it. Um, but I can say that if anyone sees this, just send me an email and we can give you a free gift. And that would be over 12 different business tools for free. And they wow. have a retail value of over $3,000. 12 business tools for free. So, and they, to get that from you, they need to email you? Yes. Very well. And so we'll put your, is it okay to put your email in the notes below? Yes, please. Great. We will list the email in the, in the notes below so you guys can reach out directly to her and request the 12 business tools for free from Dr. Cherie Moore. Um, doctor, thank you so much for being on the show with us today. Uh, our Marketing Boost members will, uh, I'm sure, enjoy this uh, interview and opportunity to get to see and meet you. Um, it's been a pleasure for me to hear your story, your background, your, your story of your husband. You met him when you were four years old. All of those things are just um, heartwarming and uh, I look forward to our ongoing relationship between you and I as well. So thank you again for being on our show, folks. Thanks for listening to another episode of One Thing We Realize is you've given us some time to listen to this show. We honor and respect and appreciate your attention and your time taken to hear us out. Hopefully we've added some nuggets and value here that you can take away and implement in your business or reach out to the notes below for more information from our sponsors, Marketing Boost, Automation Booster, and or Dr. Cherie Moore. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to another episode of Marketing Boost Solutions Podcast with your hosts, Captain Marco Torres. Now it's on you. Take the next step now. Go to marketingboostsolutions.com for more on how you can wow, delight, and surprise your clients with the most amazing draw card on the planet. So stay thirsty, my friends. Stay thirsty for knowledge. See you next time.